The second law of thermodynamics comes from the idea of the heat engine. And what it basically says is that heat cannot be completely converted into work. From this diagram here of the heat engine, we can see that that's the case. The energy that comes from the hot body, some of that energy goes into doing work, expanding the piston, increasing the volume, and some of that goes into the cold body, decreasing the temperature as the piston moves back into its original position, thereby keeping the temperature constant. Okay? We know by conservation of energy that the input energy equals the output energy. That means QH, which means the energy input is equal to QC, the energy transferred into the cold body, plus the work done by the piston or by the molecules within the system. And this is directly a correlate to the first law of thermodynamics. And in fact, it's the same thing. It's basically this. Okay, so we basically are saying that engines, heat engines, aren't completely 100% efficient in converting heat into work. So how efficient are they? Well, this formula here, where E stands for efficiency or engine efficiency, I can basically tell you how efficient an engine is. If you know the temperature of the cold body and the temperature of the hot body, you can find the efficiency. And this also shows, and you can see from algebra and basic calculus, that as this becomes zero, zero or tends to zero, that is, as Tc uh, decreases and Th increases, or the difference between these two guys increases, the efficiency also increases. Okay? You could plug some values in, and you'll see that as this becomes smaller and this becomes larger, that E becomes more efficient. Okay, finally, let's talk about refrigerators and air conditioners. So, refrigerators and air conditioners are basically reverse heat engines. What actually happens is work is inputted so that heat can be transferred uh, from a cold body to a hot body, or energy can be transferred from a cold body to a hot body. This decreases the temperature of the system, but increases the temperature of the outside. For example, in this room in the, in the summer, if I have an air conditioner and I plug it into the outlet, the energy that goes into the air conditioner uh, is basically does work on the inside room. And what it does is it takes away energy from the inside room and uh, throws the energy to the outside. So what happens is the inside of the room is cooled, but the outside is, is uh, heated or the temperature on the outside increases because on top of the work that's inputted there's this QC that's inputted as well and this uh, addition means that the outside temperature must increase. 